quest for the 69 stars. 69, 69 stars. The quest for the 69 stars. Loading God mode. Go glove. 69, 69 stars. Yeah. Let's do this. Uh, it's loading God mode. In gold glove, son. Son. And this is episode <laughs> four of our quest for the 69 star series on, um, what's this thing called? Overgrown? Overwatch. Like Overwatch. Overwatch. Overgrown. What a map. What a map. <laughs> um, this one basically, person on the ground, you're gonna hide. And person up in the <laughs> sky, which is me, is gonna rape everything. You'll... I'll point something out towards the end of the video. <laughs> no, I don't want you to point that out because it makes me feel just like I didn't do anything this entire stupid thing and I'm on the one on the ground getting shot at and throwing grenades and doing all the work. Not really though. Doing all the work? Says says one kill? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is what I just got because I'm pretty sure I just killed that guy coming out of that doorway. So, um, uh... <laughs> yeah, basically, um, the guy in the sky is going to call out everyone because you see everyone you don't ever get shot at you're basically just chilling and you're gonna kill everything i recommend using um i don't know which gun it is the obviously the 40 millimeter whatever you want to call it shoot down helicopters makes your time a hell of a lot easier um kill kill everything make sure you don't shoot your partner though sorry about that mr Poglo. <laughs> a few times a few times that's yeah, fine quit bitching. but uh <laughs> as you can see i'm just kind of chilling back until loading god mode just tells me when I can like once he kills a group of people and the uh, fields are open and uh, that is that's pretty much why he j he gets basically every single kill and uh, I'm j I just run for my life just kind of Pearl Harbor style yeah the enemies spawn in the same spot every time so like one or two playthroughs you should pretty much know where they're gonna be and be able to just demolish people so it, it's not it's not that hard you just got to make sure because like if the guy and the guy die or if the guy on the ground di um, <coughs> dies if the guy on the ground dies sorry for that <laughs> the mission's over obviously like there's no second chances there's no revivals so yeah and the and the guy on the ground the only times you guys have to really worry is when you're in a building when the guy in 130 cannot help you you uh, need to be you know flash around corners as you saw me do and uh, you know, just make sure you don't go into a room blindly because that's that's usually how the guy on the ground is killed so easily. Yeah, that's an extremely good tip because I forget about grenades all the time when I'm doing these missions. And like, you'll be like, "Oh, throw a flash grenade." I'll be like, "Oh yeah, we have flash grenades." <laughs> and for those of you who can't uh, recognize this kind of area on the ground, this is actually the downpour map from Call of Duty Four. So it's kind of a cool addition to the Spec Ops. They, they're they kind of interlacing the old maps and the old environments from the uh, first Modern Warfare. Yeah. Um, you might want to, like, switch it up. Like, if you're struggling, if you, like, want to go on the ground and stuff like that and you're struggling, you would just switch it up and try the helicopter because the first, like, three times we tried this, I went on the ground and uh, I got raped <laughs> pretty hard every time. So then Gold Glove's like, oh, hey, let me um, be on the ground, and you run the helicopter. And we did, and we beat it on our first try, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was the first try that I went on the ground. And I, as you can see, I just hid like a little girl. I hid until he told me I could run. So that was our plan the whole time. And we actually, we didn't really have much trouble for this entire mission until the end, which is coming up. Um, just getting past this end and actually getting into the spot where the... Uh, where the uh, circle is, you know, for the mission success. That was the hardest part. Oh, I've noticed on a lot of these spec op missions, when you see the exit or when you see, like, the mission end, you run like hell. <laughs> That's basically it. Like, there's Jumping there's in. there's nothing more to do. You run like hell. Like, in our last episode of Breach and Clear, like, you you see that mission end, and you run like hell. <laughs> I know, because once, once both teammates are in the circle, it's over. It doesn't matter if you're getting shot at or something. It automatically ends it. So, and we, you know, we definitely found that out of, uh, after it took us a few tries of slowly creeping to the finish, and I ended up dying because of it. Yeah, like, 
just if you're struggling with this, just take note of where I'm shooting, where I'm aiming, because um, I take out almost every enemy. Actually, <laughs> we can go ahead and say every enemy. Every enemy, but one. I'll, 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 <laughs> give me we'll my one. Give end. me my one. All right, you can have your one. It's still ain't gonna do you much good. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You know what? Gold Glove needs to take what he can get. I'm not that talented, okay? Weird. You go positive one this map, and I uh, I go positive 189. <laughs> I think. Weird. Yeah, my KD ratio is still better than yours. How does, how does that taste? Yeah, your mama's better. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if people are even gonna like this commentary. No, people will do not enjoy our commentary. Let's just throw that out there. It's the truth. But it's not even real commentary. We're just talking to each other over Skype. <laughs> You guys better love this. Okay, yeah, seriously, like, this this might be our commentary, but this is how we talk to each other just normally. So it's nothing special for us. So uh, you guys are not lucky enough to be privileged to have conversations like this. You're just not as cool <laughs> as us. I'm sorry. Well, like, I, I'm like, there's only so much you can say to a person about, like, each spec op mission to, like, help them out. So like once we pretty much go over that, it's it's uh, your guys' duty, if you will, call of duty, get it, <laughs> to um to complete the mission. Just be patient and let the helicopter do everything. I'm not sure if uh, the AC-130 is a helicopter, but um yeah. What a, does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> so there you guys go, three stars, veteran. Hold I'm on, check out, check out the kills. Hold on, before you even go three no. stars, 128 kills to one kill. No, I didn't right, even, continue. I skipped that. It's not even on my video. I just turned it off because I was so <laughs> Well, I still off. have it, and my video is <laughs> going to be playing too, so you have fun with that. <laughs> All right, well, we hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this episode of Spec Ops, Quest of the 69 Stars, and we will be sure to have more coming you guys' way. Peace, nigga. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Now, bruh.